What's up guys, Trilogy here. Today we are going to be doing another food review. This is gonna be for the hash brown McMuffin that just came out today at McDonald's. Um, I believe it's an app exclusive right now. That's what they say anyways, but I'm pretty sure the lady in front of me just ordered it through the microphone. So maybe it's not an app exclusive, but anyways, I have it here. And then of course it has a little different bag menu hacks. Um, and then of course, a caramel frappe. I had a coupon. Um, yeah, so let's see what we got. We got the napkins, we got the straw. Okay, we have the hash brown, McDonald's hash browns. Oof. Can you believe these things? Or at least where I live, these things are a dollar fifty. That's crazy. That is crazy. That those are a dollar fifty. They used to be fifty cents. Fifty cents. They've increased by. I don't know, I'm not good at math. 100%, 150%, and then we have the McMuffin. Okay, so you have to add the hash brown on there yourself because it comes separate, which I think is kind of whack. I'm ordering this and you can't put it together for me. But yeah, so that's how it looks from the side. You got your cheese, sausage, egg, hash brown, McMuffin. I'm more of a biscuit guy myself. That's just my personal preference. But this hash brown adds a nice crunch to the softness that is the McMuffin. I really like it. Um, I was thinking I was going to have to add some jelly or maybe some ketchup or something. But I didn't. Regardless, I'm still going to see how it tastes with just a little bit of strawberry. And then see how it tastes with the grape. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this with the strawberry jelly. Let's try great. Which, now that I didn't like the strawberry so much, I really feel like the grape's not going to be that good. But we're going to try it anyways. Honestly, the grape kind of fired just now. I had that grape on there. I didn't really mess with the strawberry, but I like the grape. I'm gonna add a little bit more and take a smaller bite, see how I like it. Mm. It's good. I think it tastes best without any jelly or sh no strawberry or grape. So my verdict on the hash brown egg cheese McMuffin, it's good. You just have to get it at certain McDonald's because when I was pulling this up this morning, first off, I was supposed to work today because I work on Mondays, but I'm supposed to be going on a trip at the end of the month and it looks like I put the wrong days in for my vacation. So I could have canceled it. I could have went in the system and canceled it and still went to work today. But I'm just like, ugh, Mondays are so busy at my job and it's the last day of the month. I'll just keep this off day, but I did cancel the rest of the off days. I was supposed to be off all week for this vacation, but I'll just be off today because I hate Mondays. So here I am. I was like, you know what? That new McDonald's sandwich came out today. I wanted to try the other ones, and but I never go for breakfast. So I was like, let me just go ahead and grab it. I could do a video over it. So here we are. I put it in the app because it's supposed to be an app exclusive and that thing ran up for $5. I said, $5?
No, 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 no. This sandwich is not worth $5. But on the app, there's like three McDonald's near me and there's probably three McDonald's near you. They're everywhere. So I checked another McDonald's that was close because they're all like two miles away. They're all pretty the same distance. They're just farther away. That one was also $5. I said, nope. I checked the third one. It was $2.99. I said, I could work with that. I could do $2.99 for an experimental sandwich. It's just an, a McMuffin and it's just a sausage. And I usually don't get the egg McMuffin. So there's that. Um, but I think it's pretty good, especially for $2.99. If you're out there somewhere where you have to pay $5 for it or anything above $3, I don't think this is worth it. But this is a good little stack. It tastes good. The hash brown really is, it juxtaposes the softness of the sausage egg McMuffin because those are all soft things. Even the McMuffin itself doesn't have really a crunch to it, or at least mine didn't. Um, and I think that hash brown adds a nice crunch to it when you bite into it. It really doesn't need any condiments. I put strawberry on it. I didn't like the strawberry. I put the grape on it. I was kind of feeling it. Like, I like it. But I still think this tastes best without any condiments. So that's my review on the Sauces Egg and Cheese McMuffin. If you guys want to see more reviews, I do plan on trying the other new McDonald's sandwiches. You should definitely check those out. I also have curated things on my channel. I'm Trilogy with Trilogy Effect. We do gaming, food, anime, tech, all kinds of stuff on my channel. I have curated playlists. I also do a weekly podcast called Trilogy Talk. It's basically just news throughout the week and stuff like that in those fields. And I also have a Patreon. If you want to support, you can support for as little as a dollar. I don't do ads or sponsorships and everything you do helps quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my review on the sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. I'll catch you guys next time.